Hello everyone, my name is Hector Torres and I'm with Tri Peak Athlete. I'm a USAT triathlete coach, cycling coach, swimming coach, and a sports conditioning specialist. Today we're going to be going over dynamic stretching. You normally do this in the warm up. Many of these exercises are done before each exercise is to activate the muscles that are already cold. Many people in the past have done regular stretching, static stretching, before the exercise. And what that normally does, that shuts down the muscle. So the dynamic stretching, what it does, it engages the muscles and get them ready for the exercise. I highly recommend you to warm up 5 to 10 minutes before, the, before doing these exercises to at least get blood pumping into, the, uh, into your system, like a walk or an easy jog. So if you have any questions, please replay the video again and watch the following exercises if you have any questions. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Hector Torres with Tri-Peak Athlete. Right now we're going to be going over some dynamic stretches. The first one that we want you to do, we want to start activating your hamstrings. So what I would like for you to do, pull in your belly button in, back to your abdominals. Then nothing else in your body is going to be moving. What you want to do is bring your foot, your right foot and the other foot. I want you to, from your hip, I want you to fold forward and reach. When you start reaching down, you start feeling a pull on your hamstring. As soon as you feel that pull, come back up, switch legs, take a step forward, fold, reach, back up, fold, reach, back up. So you can do several of these, walking forward, up and down, nice and steady. Feeling that you're activating that hamstring. Now, you want to start activating your core. Another movement you want to do is you want to extend your right arm forward. Then you want to pick up the opposite leg. Nothing else in your body is going to move, so you're going to reach up and kick back. So you start activating your glutes, your core, and your hamstrings. So reach and alternate. As you notice, I am not leaning back. My back is straight, I'm just reaching, and I'm reaching for my toes. Forward. The next one we want to do is arm swings, especially for swimmers. So what you want to do is start with your arms extending and bring them down. Up. Catch, bring it down. Just very similar like if you're doing a stroke. Up, bring it down. Up, bring it down. Same thing. Up, place your hands on top of the box, engage your lats, bring it down. Bring it down. Up, bring it down. Then you want to start activating your core. So you want to fold forward, back be straight, up. And you can also do this with a band. Take some band to, uh, some tubing, and just place them, just pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Another dynamic stretch you should do is arm swings. You can add a skip to it. Yes, it'll look a little bit ridiculous, but you get over it. Another one I highly recommend you to do is the karaoke or the great fine. How to do the great body? Very easy. Take one step back, the other leg goes forward. Take a step to the side, go behind, forward, back, forward, back. You want to go to the opposite way, back. This is the great body. Now, if you want to do the karaoke, what I recommend you to do is take a step. Front leg goes forward, back, up. I want to go back to the other side. Another dynamic stretch which I highly recommend you to do are heel to butt. Heel to butt, heel to butt, heel to butt. What you're doing is you're activating your glutes, your quads, 
your hamstrings, and you're bringing your heel under, on a straight line directly underneath your hip flexor. So it's up, up. So you can do this in an active movement like this. Heel to butt. I do not recommend that you do butt kicks. If you do butt kicks, you're going to cause a lot of strain to your hip flexors and to your patella. Another drill, which I highly recommend you to do, are just side to side. Here, it's called a shuffle. Take it back. You, when you do these, you want to make sure that both feet are parallel with your hip flexor. You're taking the step to the side, shuffling it through. Do not run to the side. Make sure you're here forward. And you're just doing this, side to side. Doing these at least seven times, seven repetitions for each one, will help you to warm up your body and get ready for your next set. If you need to repeat the video and watch it again to go over them, please go ahead and do so. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for more videos to come.